So I grew up in Western Pennsylvania, a very wholesome upbringing. My mom was a family practice physician, and so she's kind of who inspired me to go into medicine and follow in her footsteps. I wanted to be a surgeon because I saw that you could actually fix a problem. It wasn't as much chronic disease as it was an acute problem that you could do something about. I wanted to go into breast surgery because of the relationship with the patients. Seeing them every six months or every year and really getting to know the patient, getting to know their family and becoming a part of their family along their, their journey. I chose to come work at Spartanburg Regional because there was just everything available here that I needed to take care of patients. So I can't do it all by myself. We have radiation oncologists, medical oncologists, physical therapists, really everybody in the team that can help take care of patients. So I wanted to make sure that I went somewhere that I felt very confident that my patients could get the best care. I was practicing as a general surgeon before. Breast was a large majority of my practice, but I really wanted to go back to fellowship and get more specific training from the fellowship so that I could ensure that my patients were getting the best care possible. Breast cancer is constantly changing with all of the research that's invested in breast cancer care. The recommendations are changing on a yearly basis. Somebody with a fellowship is going to really be investing the time to stay up to date on the most recent literature and know how to treat the patients. Through the years, through the research, we found that sometimes less surgery is equivalent to the bigger surgery. And so that's why it's really important to see a specialist to know one one might be recommended over the other and to not just jump straight to doing a mastectomy when a smaller surgery may be just as good as far as survival. The fellowship training definitely gives me an edge as far as knowing which type of surgery would be recommended. We've seen from very early cancers to the very aggressive advanced cancers and you know how to treat it all. That's one thing that I pride myself on is being able to break things down and discuss it with patients in a way that they understand. I will let them know what I feel is the best for their treatment, but ultimately they're, they're gonna be the ones to make the decision for their care.